to fight. A fight for the money in our pockets. A fight between two small plastic boxes with music in them. They're the two possible replacements for the cassette tape. And they and the new machines to play them will be in the shops by the end of the year. You'll decide their success. In the blue corner is the digital compact cassette, DCC, from Philips. In the red corner is the mini disc from Sony. The compact disc has all but wiped out vinyl albums, but the cassette is still three times as popular worldwide. 2.8 billion are sold every year, and it's that market with a personal stereo, car stereos, and for home recording that the electronics companies are targeting next. Publicly, they're not advertising it as a fight, but the reality is that most of us won't buy both new formats. We'll be making a choice. So what's the difference between them? Well, let's look at the technology involved. DCC's based on cassette tape, but it's been beefed up. Minidisc has a tiny version of something like a CD inside the cartridge and they're totally incompatible with each other. They'll both be able to record and re-record just like a cassette, but with high quality digital sound. Digital means that the sound's stored as a stream of numbers which take up a lot of space, and space is what you don't have on a portable. Both these systems manage to squeeze a CD's worth of music into far less space and still have excellent playback. They've managed the squeeze by taking advantage of a property of the human ear. Now, if I play you a quiet sound, you should be able to hear that bleeping away quite clearly. But if a similar louder sound is played at the same time, you can't hear the quiet one at all. It's completely masked. Well, on a CD, both those sounds would be recorded. But on DCC or Minidisc, only the one you can hear is recorded. The quieter one is left out, saving space. Both DCC and Minidisc will sell at a higher price than ordinary cassette tapes, which, if either, will survive. Philips' main pitch is that their DCC machines will still play all your old tapes, and they're also closer to launching. Like a CD, the player for Philips DCC can skip songs or play selections, but being a tape, it's not instant. You have to wait for it to wind through. Sony's Minidisc is instant, but it won't play any of your old stuff. It needs a whole new music collection. Something else that Minidisc tackles is the problem of music jumping like CDs do when they're shaken. They've got a prototype player, but Sony won't let it out of their hands. So Eric, can I ask you to do your trick, please? The machine reads and stores an extra three seconds of music, so if it's briefly interrupted, even by taking the disc out, it won't stop playing. <laughs> He's dead proud of that. So, what will determine their success? One thing that's critical is having enough stuff to play. For their new format, Sony and Philips both want lots of songs in the shops. Philips have signed up seven major record companies, while Sony plan to launch with 500 titles from their own label. Though both companies know the score. And they're each hoping their product will become the main replacement for the cassette, so they can sell us yet another piece of high-tech for the home and car and pocket. It's big bucks and a big, big fight. Now, going off in search of buried treasure.